how can you have endless reels and content ideas for TikTok as well without the stress? That's exactly what I'm going to be going over with you in today's episode. But first, if we've never met before, my name is Ashley Ehler and I help online entrepreneurs and network marketers grow and skyrocket their businesses utilizing the latest marketing strategies. So I have a question for you and go ahead and write in the comment section below if you've ever felt this way. Have you ever put off creating content? One, because you didn't feel like getting getting done up or you didn't feel like you were up to par or you didn't feel like maybe you had the best idea or you're just drawing a blank and it was just really hard to get in that setting. Kids are running around, chaos is happening in your house, it's loud, how am I gonna get set up to even be able to create content? If that has ever happened to you, say yes, totally below, because I feel ya, that was me. So I'm gonna be giving you some different ideas that can work for any niche, and also there's gonna be a free download for you below. If you click, click the link in the description, I am going to be sharing with you some content prompt, prompts that are going to work for any niche that is going to help you never run out of content ideas ever again. So the very first thing that I am going to tell you that is going to help you to never run out of content ideas ever again and to run out of content to post is you need to start recording raw moments. What are raw moments? So you can simply record like a beautiful scenic scene or if you're at the beach or maybe you're walking in a beautiful garden or you're at a beautiful restaurant, you can record that, save it to your camera roll and always edit it later and save it so that way you can share a story or a motivational quote or maybe some tips. Another idea is you can also share like another candid moment is maybe you working out or you doing a run or something that is just raw in the moment that you can save for later. And you can do this all throughout your day, every single day, and you're not going to run out of content because it's stored in your photos on your phone or in your camera roll. Another thing that you can do is you can just do a hyperlapse or speed up your camera or you can edit it later and you can simply just point at some places all over in the screen. You can do this anywhere. Like if you look really nice one day, you don't have to open up the TikTok app or the Reels app. You don't have to open it up to create it, but you can go ahead and have those content pieces ready. So that way, when you're ready to post that content, you don't have to worry about getting all dolled up. You don't have to worry about having the perfect scene or it being super quiet. And that's another thing that I really love about being able to create TikToks and Reels is sometimes I may create these videos and it may be hectic in the background. There may be dogs barking or whatever is going on, but because I'm saving them to my camera roll and I plan to upload them into the TikTok app, I'm just gonna turn that volume down all the way and then I'm gonna turn up the, vi the volume of the trending noise or the trending sound and I'm gonna utilize that so that it mutes out all the chaos. The last idea I have for you, and don't forget to grab the download below, which is gonna have a lot more ideas for you so you never run out of content again, but it's you simply recording little voice clips of yourself, of you holding the camera in portrait um, mode, and just sharing three tips to X, Y, Z, fill in the blank. Here are three tips to have a flat stomach with things that are already in your refrigerator or in your pantry, or here are some three or here are three healthy habits to fill in the blank, whatever that is. And then always end your video with a call to action because you want to make sure that you are leading your audience someplace, whether it's to follow you, follow me for more tips, okay? Or maybe it is um, comment below if this resonated with you or comment or tag someone below if you think this could help someone. That way you're still creating content with a purpose and it's still going to drive more traffic to you or maybe you have a freebie, whatever that thing is, always reverse engineer your content, which is a little off track. But anyways, I really hope that these tips were helpful. If so, be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more weekly episodes that I put out with training on marketing strategies and how to grow an online business. And don't forget to grab that free download below.